So guys, there is a brand new FC24 patch. They're trying to save the FC24 season 71 that is gone. So let's go and check out my updated custom tactics and instructions for the upcoming for Champions matches. If you guys wanna buy cheap and reliable FC24 coins, make sure to check out the best place on the market, u7buy.com, to get your coins within 10 minutes and make sure to use Crossy for a discount. And guys, for cheap game codes and prepaid Xbox and PlayStation cards, g2a.com is the place for you. Check the link down below. So let's talk about custom tactics in today's second upload of the day. So custom tactics, guys, the tactics that you are currently seeing on your screens right now, 442 and 432 are my main game plans in FC24, best possible formations in my opinion. I hit rank one in for champions three weeks ago, if I'm not mistaken, using these tactics. These are my Elite Division tactics as well, but now it is time for a change as we just downloaded the latest FC24 patch. They nerfed Financial Plus, they nerfed 71 Depth, they nerfed the Midfield Press, so it is time to upgrade our tactics and adjust them according to the latest patch in FC24. So let's begin, guys. 4 4 2, my main game plan in my matches, guys. Defensive style, balance, no changes regarding defensive style with 45 i'm not gonna change it 45 is the perfect value but when it comes to depth guys 71 is gone i'm not gonna use 71 anymore i'm going to reduce this one to 55 that's correct 55 beautiful play balances without any doubt the best one you guys can use from minute one you guys also can go with fast beautiful play in the last 20 30 minutes if you guys need to score a goal otherwise balance is the best possible one you guys can use chance creation direct passing and forward runs remain the best possible options you guys can select i'm gonna go with direct passing in my opinion direct passing is slightly better with 50 players in box i'm gonna leave it at five when i use the 442 formation i don't want to go up to let's say seven eight because I'm going to leave a lot of gaps in my midfield. So using the 4-4-2 formation, in my opinion, 5 is the perfect value. Corners 1 and free kicks 1. We spoke about corner kicks and free kicks many times and it doesn't matter how many FC24 patches esports drop this year, this value will never change. You guys don't need extra players at corners and free kicks inside the penalty box. You can always select a certain player using L1 or LB on your controller, okay? Move him in the penalty box and cross the ball to a certain player inside the box. The remaining players inside the penalty box of your opponents are basically useless. So one is without any doubt the best possible value. Now, let's talk about instructions, guys. So, LB and RB, step back while attacking and overlap. The only custom instructions that I'm going to apply to the LB and the RB, nothing else. When it comes to the center backs, I'm going to use the default options, I'm not going to change anything regarding the goalkeeper, be careful guys, after the new patch, if you move the goalkeeper to the left and the player takes a shot to the right, it's all over for you, okay? Before the patch, you kinda were able to save it, but after the patch, no more chance for the goalkeeper to do anything. If you slightly move the goalkeeper to the left and your opponent takes a shot to the right, game over, GG. Your opponent is going to score 99.99%. .99%. So when it comes to the box to box midfielders in the 4-4-2 formation. First of all guys, cover center. This is one of the most important options. Apply to both of them, okay? Cover, center, apply to both of your box-to-box -box midfielders. Stay back while attacking, also apply to both of them. And also, I don't know why I'm using get into the box for cross, but balance crossing runs is the best possible option for the box-to-box -box midfielders. So basically, we've got two custom options, cover center and stay back while attacking. When, when it comes to the left midfielder and right midfielder, cut inside without any doubt, get in behind and come back on defense. The best possible option for the best possible defense. Come back on defense, cut inside, get in behind, apply to the right midfielder as well. Don't 
touch the other two options, leave them at default and when it comes to the striker positions guys, stay central, get in behind and stay forward. Apply to both of them, stay central, get in behind, stay forward. These are custom instructions. Interceptions is the only default option that I'm not going to touch when it comes to my striker. So, while attacking guys, I'm going to use Luka Modric Chomeni to build up my attacks. Also, I'm going to involve my left and right midfielders and also we've got two strikers staying forward all the time and while defending, one, two, three, four players because of comeback on defense will go back, support my defense and my defender line will become stronger than ever before. Now let's talk about my second main game plan and if you guys ask me Crossy which formation is better 4-4-2 or 4-3-2-1, I don't know. It all depends on your opponent's formation, opponent's squad, opponent's playstyle. I basically use the 4-4-2 for minute one but if I struggle to create chances and score goals I switch to the 4-3-2. 2-1 and 4-3-2-1 is top 3 formation in FC24. So, regarding my tactics, defensive style balance with 45 depth, I'm going to reduce this one to 55. Bureau play balance, chance creation, direct passing with 50 plus in box 6 because this formation is a bit more defensive compared to the 4-4-2. That's why I'm not using 5 and 6. Corners 1, free kicks 1. When it comes to the instructions, guys, once again, I'm gonna use step back while attacking and overlap. Custom instructions apply to the LB and the RB. Regarding the center backs, I don't touch anything. Regarding my midfielders, guys, so the, the, the one in the middle, cover center, step back while attacking. Regarding the one in the right, cover center and step back while attacking. And regarding the left midfielder, guys, in my case, the left midfielder is a bit more offensive. It's Maximin. Actually, he's an offensive card. So, cover center, get into the box for cross and balance attack. So, I don't use stay back while attacking apply to all my midfielders, okay? One of them is at balance attack, so he can actually join the attack more often than the other two. When it comes to the left winger and right winger in the 4-3-2-1 formation, stay central, get in behind and come back on defense, custom instructions. The same thing applies to the right winger, guys. It's right CF to be more specific. Stay central, get in behind and come back on defense. And when it comes to the striker position, guys, stay central, get in behind and stay forward. I don't touch interceptions, okay? And the reason why I use stay forward for Mbappe and come back on defense for, let's say, Jerzino and Nene, the reason is simple, guys. I want them to come back on defense, support my defender line, I will increase my chances of perfect defending and they will quickly join the attack when I take the ball from my opponent in defense. Also, I really, really want one of my players to, to stay up front all the time while I'm defending, so the moment I take the ball, I know that we've got Mbappe in front positions. I can always pass the ball to Mbappe and create a deadly counter-attack. So, now, let's talk about the 3-4-2-1 formation. My main, not main game plan, my third game plan that I really use because I love abusing the 4-3-2-1 and 4-4-2, but this is my formation number three, or in other words, plan B. So, 3-4-2-1, and as you guys know, after the latest patch eSports announced that the five at the back formations are nerfed. I'm not using five at the back, Three at the back formation, baby. Defensive style balanced with 45 depth. I'm going to reduce, reduce this one to 55. Beautiful play balance, direct passing, chance creation with 50. Plus in box four, it's not five, it's not six, and so on, because the three at the back formation is really, really offensive. Corners one, free kicks one. Instructions time when it comes to the center backs. No changes when it comes to the Box to box midfielders, cover center, apply to both of them and stay back while attacking, guys. Apply to both of them, no other custom instructions for the midfielders. Regarding the left midfielder, I'm gonna use comeback on defense, cut inside, get in behind. Regarding the right one, same instructions, come back on defense, cut inside and get in behind. When it comes to the left and right CFs, stay central, get in behind, 
come back on defense custom instructions. The same thing applies to the left CF, stay central, get in behind, come back on defense and when it comes to the striker position, stay central, get in behind, stay forward. The only player that will stay forward will be my striker and getting behind is one of the deadliest and most important custom instructions that you guys can apply to your offensive player so make sure to use get in behind it makes your life easier guys you can provide through bows and place your offensive cards in one-on-one -on -one situations with goalkeepers much easier compared to if you guys go with for example if you guys go with mixed attack target player or false nine it's not gonna work get in behind is the best possible option it will increase your accuracy and successful through bows towards your strikers so with that being said number one game plan well 442 and 4321 i switch between them all the time depending on the result depending on my opponent's play style his formation how expensive his squad is connection responsiveness and so, and so on and if this one and this one don't work they they just don't work i'm gonna go with option three three four two one without any doubt the best possible three at the back formation which will allow me to create way more attacks on the wings this is a super offensive formation and in defense it feels great because i'm using step back while attacking apply to nine out of ten players and guys i've got one more game plan four three two one this one is a bit more offensive in case this one this one and this one don't work i'm gonna switch to this one guys and let me show you the difference the difference is defensive style press after possession loss it will make your players way more aggressive on the field and guess what this one is not nerfed after the new fc24 patch so make sure to use press after possession loss guys it will not affect your player stamina so this is without any doubt number one option to apply extra pressure after the new patch with 45 depth 71 i was using 71 for extra high pressure tactics however after the latest patch guys i'm just gonna reduce this one to 60 build a play fast build a play chance creation direct passing with 50 players in back six corners one free kicks one and guys regarding instructions i'm gonna go with step back while attacking apply to the lb and overlap rb step back while attacking and overlap but yes i use step back while attacking however during my attacks i activate the special deep pad tactic that allow me to make my lb and rb join the attack and they are going to play as wingers that's why i use step back while attacking to my lb and rb or all the time center backs no changes regarding the midfielders guys i'm gonna use cover center apply to every single one of them cover center okay step back while attacking apply to the one from the right side the middle one as well guys step back while attacking and the one from the left side side balance attack regarding my players in front positions stay central getting behind and basic defense support regarding nene's stay central get in behind and basic defense support i'm not going to apply this option guys come back on defense because this is my most offensive game plan that we can use during my matches and regarding my striker stay central get in behind and basic defense support of course in the last 20 minutes guys i don't have last 20 minutes tactics obviously all of my tactics that you're currently seeing on your screens are adjusted for the first let's say 70 minutes of the games okay but in case you guys find it difficult to create attacks with any of these tactics and it is minute 70 it is time for you to go all in and try your best to create a comeback so all you have to do is choose a choose a formation 442 4321 3421 okay i'm gonna go with the 442 okay i'm going to change defensive style to constant pressure i'm going to boost the depth to let's say 90 plus just like that build a play to fast build a play chance creation i'm gonna use forward runs players in box nine wait i'm just gonna i'm just gonna boost this one just a little bit to 60 corners for free kicks four and also guys regarding instructions i'm gonna use join the attack join the attack join the attack join the attack get forward 
get forward, stay forward, stay forward, stay forward, stay forward, apply to all of my players. That's how you boost any of the formations in FC24 in the last 20, 15 minutes of the games. If you guys have to score one goal or two goals ASAP. But in the first 70 minutes of the games, I don't advise any of you guys to use these high pressure tactics. Anyways, this is going to be the end of today's custom tactics and instructions tutorial. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed my second upload and let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think about the latest FC24 patch. No more 71 depth. How do you guys feel about it? Are you guys excited? Are you guys upset? Let me know in the comment section down below and I'll catch you guys later. Bye bye. They tell me that I'm never gonna make it. They want me to do something that can make sense. They hate when I keep dreaming I'll be famous. But I don't give a fuck, I'm gonna keep chasing. They tell me that I'm never gonna make it. They want me to do something that can make sense.